Now, we, we generally, and I think most of our listeners would be in that same kind of category that you just described, mostly industrial, manufacturing, distribution, maybe some professional services. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, do, you start it, and it's interesting, you focus on mindset. So what I have found often, and I'd like your reflection on this, sometimes it's not that they don't want to make the change, is they're overwhelmed with these new set of choices that weren't even there 20 years ago, right? So what would you tell an owner in terms of, some of the first things they can do to sort through the noise before they make a decision what they, they need to do this or that. Like, how do you sort through the noise? Uh, it's interesting. There's, um, uh, you get this question every once in a while where people will say, what's more important? Who's more important, your customers or your employees, right? And, mm-hmm. and in our book, a person we interviewed said, who do you love more, your mother or your wife? Right. And, and it's like both. Right. You can't pick one or the other. So the point is that where you start is you look at your team and your employees and your customers. And are they aligned? Or, or is your culture, your mission, your operational structure, your strategies, are they aligned with what your buyers want? Right. These are pretty basic things, but it, it is surprising to me how many people and how many companies out there don't spend the time to, to really look at their customers and understand their customers from their point of view. Uh, 